Hello friends, I am Ananda Krishnan and welcome to Master Chess. Today, I will explain all the main strategies, tactics, ideas and variations of the Scorch Gambit. So, watch the video till the end, here you will see today's chess puzzle. Now let's begin. I will show 4 main variations of the Scorch Gambit in this video. And the last 2 variations may give you an idea to checkmate using the Scorch Gambit. The game is characterized by e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, e takes d4, bishop c4, bishop e7, advancing material in the king side to enable castling, c3, d takes c3, the first variation. Now comes the fantastic move, queen, b5. Well, when we take a look at this gambit, White has sacrificed two of his pawns in order to open this file for Queen to attack on. It also has increased space on white side in comparison to that of the black. Now, black should play something to prevent the checkmate at f7, the weaker square in chess. He has two options. He can push his d pawn forward, but it has no wisdom because of this move, bishop e6. So, better is that he plays his knight on h6 supporting the f pawn. But this move also no worth because bishop takes h6 and black will resign. Well, he might continue the play with castling, but white is half on the game with increment of space, development, and material. Black's pawn on c3 can also be captured by the knight and can main advantage, maintain advantage in material. By that, White's most pieces will be developed. Also, after black castles, white can play bishop g5 and after bishop takes g5, knight takes g5 and is trapped because it's checkmate in the next move. Black will surely resign. Now that's the first variation. Before we move on to the next variation, let me make sure that have you su subscribed yet? If not, then please subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my upcoming videos. In the next variation, except of taking the pawn on c3, white decides to play d3. Now let's look what all will be the benefits and demerits of this variation. But before that, I would like to announce that I have launched a Facebook page on Master Chess which, which include interesting chess puzzles. You can check it out on Facebook. You can also feedback me in there. The link is in description. The second variation begins with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, e takes d4, bishop c4, bishop e7, c3, and d3. If your opponent knows the scorch gambit, then he will decline it like this gaining time to castle before queen secures d5. So knowing that what the strategy is, we will try to break it by queen b3. Again he has two options, either f6 which is a bad move because bishop can simply take the knight. Knight h6 is also a bad move because bishop can take on h6 but again the knight would be taken by white's dark squared bishop. After that, bishop takes f7, check, king f8 and bishop h5 threatening mate in the next move. Black is in pressure to resign and he will. While moving on to the third variation, instead of playing bishop e7, after bishop c4, black will play bishop b4 check. Well, this variation ends up in a mate, so don't get, go anywhere, stay tuned and watch till the end. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, e takes d4, bishop c4, bishop b4 check, c3, d takes c3, d takes c3, threatening, threatening the bishop. Now in this position, 
returning of Black's bishop to f8 may not proceed any idea. It also broke the king from castling that side. Much more, developed pieces must not be pulled back to their previous squares. So, your opponent will not play that move. Again, the options left are bishop d6, but that's one of the worst squares for placing bishop because it blocks the pawn and thus development of the other bishop. He can't play bishop c5 too because queen d5 and bishop can't move because queen takes a7 is just checkmate. Going back, the, the two squares left are a5 and e7, but placing this bishop in a cell with such a locked position is foolishness. It will be inactive till the end game, so the best square is bishop e7. Well friends, tell me in the comment section that if I shall upload videos on actual game analysis or just upload videos on tricks and traps like this. What more do you expect from me to upload? Does I need to improve? If yes, then please comment that in what. Back to the game. After that, we plays queen d5. Now whatever he plays, it's again the same story of checkmate as in the first variation. Now, the last variation. Wait, hey there! Are you enjoying the video? Then hit the like button. The last variation begins with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, e takes d4, bishop c4, knight a5. It's a bad move and you can expect this move very rarely from your opponent. But if we place this, then you shall know how to deal with it. I described it as a bad move because it breaks the standard rules of chess, which everyone shall follow, follow to flourish in chess. It broke the rule that never move a piece twice in the opening unless it's attacked. Well, some of the rules can be broken to ensure good position in the endgame. But here, this move doesn't show any such aspects. Okay, after this move, bishop takes f7 check. King takes f7, knight e5 check, king e6, queen takes d4 supporting the knight. Black adds the second attacker, knight c6 fork, queen d5 check, king can't go to f6 keeping the attack because after bishop g5 square, black is forced to take the bishop. After which, knight f7 winning the queen and then the rook. So it's better for him to go to e7. Then, queen f7 check. King d6. Knight c4 check. King c5, only possible move, queen d5 check. Again, king b4, only legal move. Now, this game is being countered. a3 check. King a4, he can't go anywhere else. And at last, b3, checkmate with a pawn. The power of a pawn. So that was the conclusion of the last variation. Now that's all. Don't forget to subscribe and help me achieve my first 100 subscribers. I again remind you of the Facebook page of Master Chess where you can find interesting puzzles regularly. Now let's look the answer of last day's puzzle. This is the answer. Okay, now it's time for today's puzzle. Can you solve this chess puzzle? Why to move? Don't forget to comment your answer. Thanks for watching. Keep watching Master Chess.